Welcome visionaries, creators, innovators, entrepreneurs, leaders, and growth seekers of all types to the Passion Struck Podcast. Hi, I'm John Miles, a peak performance coach, multi-industry CEO, Navy veteran, and entrepreneur on a mission to make passion go viral for millions worldwide. And each week I do so by sharing with you an inspirational message and interviewing high achievers from all walks of life to unlock their secrets and lessons to becoming passion struck. The purpose of our show is to serve you, the listener, by giving you tips, tasks, and activities you can use to achieve peak performance and pursue the passion-driven life you have always wanted to have. Now, let's become passion struck. Welcome back to episode 106 of the Passion Struck Podcast, and thank you each and every one of you who comes back weekly to listen and learn to live better, be better, and impact the world. If you're new to the show or you would like to introduce this to friends or family members, we now have episode starter packs. These are collections of your favorite episodes organized by topic, and it gives a great way to get a new listener introduced to everything about us here on the show. Just go to passionstruck.com slash starter packs to get started. And also, if you'd prefer to watch these episodes instead of listening to them, you can check out our YouTube channel at John R. Miles, where we have over 230 different videos. We've had well over 500,000 views of the channel. Just go to John R. Miles on YouTube and check it out. In today's episode, I'm going to discuss why joy is such a powerful compass. It's a gift that actually helps us navigate the complex demands that vie our attention. It invites us to slow down, discover what is most important to us, and also those around us and helps us decide in ways our ego, pride, fear, or sense of scarcity could never do. I'm currently reading the book, The Power of Myth by Joseph Campbell. And one of my favorite quotes from him is, find a place inside where there's joy and the joy will burn out the pain. And I think there's so much truth to that quote. When joy is our compass, it may not always lead us to the easiest, happiest, or most popular decisions. Joy works more deeply than that. It leads us to places where life can happen intentionally and where we become the best versions of ourselves. In my episode today, I'm going to do something a bit different. I'm going to tell a fictional story and use it as a way to bring this episode to life. I'm very interested in hearing your thoughts about this new approach and how it resonates with you. Thank you for choosing Passion Struck and choosing me to be your host and guide on your journey to living a no regrets life. Before we begin, I would like to emphasize that this podcast is part of my desire and effort to bring zero cost information to the general public. In keeping with that theme, I would like to thank the sponsors of today's episode. Producing a quality podcast requires a lot of content creation, and I'm constantly looking for ways to up my game in efficiency. That is why I love Grammarly and use it daily, whether it's writing podcast show notes, an article, my solo episode scripts, or just for email and social media posts. Grammarly not only helps me with spelling and grammar checks, but it is a writing tool that helps ensure my content is professionally written. They even have unique capabilities for tone adjustments, clarity suggestions, and full sentence rewrites. Do you also want to save time and strike the right tone with your audience? Get through those emails and your work quicker by keeping it concise, confident, and effective with Grammarly. And they're offering PassionStruck listeners a special discount. Go to Grammarly.com slash PassionStruck to sign up for a free account. And when you're ready to upgrade to Grammarly Premium, get 20% off for being my listener. That's 20% off at G-R-A-M-M-A-R-L-Y.com slash PassionStruck. 80 million Americans, both men and women, experience thinning hair. It's common, even normal, but it's not openly talked about. So going through it can feel lonely and frustrating. That is why it's so important to take charge of your hair growth and make the next few months your time to grow thicker, fuller, healthier hair with Nutrafol. Don't wait to start addressing early stages of thinning hair. Nutrafol is clinically shown to improve hair growth and thickness in just three to six months. I'm already using it and seeing improvements in just a few weeks. And it's physician formulated to be 100% drug-free with potent botanicals to help you grow hair as strong as you are. You can grow thicker, healthier hair and support our show by going to Nutrafol.com 
and using promo code PASSIONSTRUCK to save $15 off your first month subscription. This is their best offer available anywhere, and it's only available to U.S. customers for a limited time. Plus, free shipping on every order. Get $15 off at Nutrafol.com, spelled N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L.com, promo code PASSIONSTRUCK, for hair as strong as you are. Thank you so much for listening to and supporting the show. All these codes and URLs can be tough to remember, so we'll put them in the show notes for the episode. Please consider supporting those who support the show and make it possible. Now back to Passion Struck. It was past 6 p.m. on a cold Michigan day, and Kristen Jane Anderson was trudging through the park, tugging at her Nick gloves as she set out to end her own life. She was just 17 and longed to be happy. Kristen grew up in a typical American family where she had the freedom to do what she enjoyed and had terrific siblings and supportive parents. Yet inside, Kristen felt deep emptiness. Life hadn't been going as she hoped, especially after losing her grandmother and three other friends within the space of two years. Following that, she was raped by someone she considered a friend and that experience only compounded the brokenness that she felt. She had taken to smoking, drinking, and partying with her friends, all in a bit to escape the pain and mask her mental struggles. However, she awoke to find them returning each day and felt she had lost all purpose, which led her to become very discouraged and overwhelmed. Kristen decided that her only escape from all her troubles was to lay on a train track and allow herself to be run over by the train. Evading the cops and any curious eyes, she managed to get herself on the railroad track and lie in position as the train approached. She lay still with the hopes that all her heartache and numbness would be over in a flash, but then the unexpected happened. She was run over by over 33 different freight cars that were traveling at over 55 miles per hour, but somehow was still conscious and alive. However, it left her with her legs completely severed. Eventually, she was rescued by emergency workers and stabilized at the hospital, but now she had to live the rest of her life without legs. Even with a second chance at life, the next three years after the incident were extremely difficult. There were more surgeries. She was placed on different painkillers, antidepressants. She still felt major depression, and still more thoughts of suicide flooded her dreams. But then she found hope primarily through her Christian faith, and Kristen began taking practical steps to live each day intentionally. With renewed joy, she ended up getting off her antidepressants and pain medications that the doctors told her she would have to take for the rest of her life. Kristen finished her degree. She told her story of recovery on the Oprah Winfrey Show, authored a book titled Life in Spite of Me, and started the foundation Reaching You Ministries to help prevent teenagers and young adults from attempting suicides. Furthermore, she got married, amazingly had kids, and became a popular speaker at colleges, churches, women's events. What steps did Kristen take to transition from being a suicidal teenager to taking back her life and becoming a well-accomplished woman? After surviving the suicide attempt, Kristen realized that her problems were not external, but rather caused by her inability to live with joy from within. Upon this realization, she took the responsibility to consciously take steps to be intentional about her growth and be guided by joy through life. She began to pay attention to everyday moments and decided to make the most of them rather than just exist on autopilot as most people do. Here are some of the practical steps that Kristen took to make joy the guiding compass through her journey of recovery and now every step of her life. And we can apply all of these to our own lives. The first is Kristen developed an attitude of gratitude. An adage goes, they who are thoughtful will be thankful. The truth is, no matter what situation we all find ourselves in, there are still reasons, even if it's just one, to be grateful. For as long as there's life, there's hope for better days. So make a list of all the things that you're grateful for, and you will see that gradually joy will begin to fill your heart and guide you onto better days. Second, Kristen found a focus on self-love. 
The need for self-love and compassion cannot be overemphasized. In fact, I talked about it just last week in episode 104, where I discussed self-love. Value and take proper care of yourself. Know that you deserve good things and celebrate your wins, no matter how small they may seem. Appreciate and do something special for yourself every day. It doesn't have to be a big thing. Your self-love may just be a walk around the block or gazing up at the stars at night. You can grow into bigger ones from these small steps as things fall in place and joy begins to flow from within. Third, Kristen became compassionate and learned how to give to others. One potent means of securing joy is by making others joyful in whatever little ways that you can. You receive more of what you give, and you should realize that you always have something to offer to make others feel joy and kindness. When you see the smile on someone else's face that you're helping, it makes it all worth it. This will stir a good feeling in you and naturally make you a more joyful person. The fourth thing that Kristen did is she started to have a regular exercise routine. And exercising is one underrated activity that can help one become happier. Numerous studies have shown that exercise increases endorphins, dopamine, adrenaline, and endocannabinoids, brain chemicals associated with feeling happy, feeling confident, feeling capable, and improving one's overall well-being. Recognize the value of this beneficial physical activity and participate in it to improve your mood and infuse joy into your life. Fifth, Kristen got herself out into nature. By stepping out into nature and appreciating all the beautiful things that exist, you get to see life from a much bigger and broader perspective. Activities such as taking a walk through the park, sitting and watching birds fly, hiking mountains, and visiting the beach can be very relaxing and contribute to you becoming a joyful person. Engage in them and just see how valuable they can be to your growth. Six, Kristen found new habits around things that she enjoyed. Whether it's painting, playing an instrument, listening to music, playing games, or dancing, spend quality time on activities that you enjoy and that make you happy. By doing so, your mood will constantly improve and you will begin to express joy from within. The seventh thing that Kristen did was she got out of her comfort zone. Comfort is a major roadblock that stops people from experiencing real joy and it holds them back from reaching for more in life and instead they remain where they are. You need to step out of the status quo, out of this fixed mindset and aim for great new things. By doing so, you will gain new experiences, which will allow you to become even more fulfilled. Even if things don't work out as you picture them to, you will get the joy that comes from trying, knowing you did your best and dared to reach for more. Eighth, Kristen surrounded herself with optimistic people. Whether we like it or not, we are naturally influenced by the friends we keep and the people we constantly interact with. Therefore, you must spend your time with people who have a positive mindset and outlook on life and seeking joy. These are the people who will encourage you and keep you accountable through your journey towards having a joyful life. The journey towards letting go of past trauma and becoming a joyful person can be an arduous task, especially when the hurt has been continually recalled in one's memory, which leads to the thought of it sinking into the subconscious. In getting over your hurtful past, you need to focus entirely on the little steps forward and build successively on each while trying your best not to keep looking back upon the past. Oprah Winfrey is a great example of this. You may not know this, but she was molested when she was in her early childhood. And through that experience, she said the words, turn your wounds into wisdom. Born in rural poverty and raised by a mother dependent on government welfare payments in a poor urban neighborhood, Winfrey learned to rise above her past and grow to become a well-accomplished woman and the greatest Black philanthropist in U.S. history. Like Oprah, you need to realize that your hurt can make you stronger and better if you learn the lessons from them and use them to help yourself and others avoid whatever led to that situation or to encourage others in similar conditions and circumstances. One thing you also need is support from others. Healing cannot be done in isolation. Expose your challenges to someone you can confide in who will encourage you and keep you accountable 
through your journey towards healing. Notably, the place of your spirituality and faith goes a long way, just as it did for Kristen Anderson, whose Christian faith helped her find meaning and purpose after her attempted suicide. Believing in a supreme being surpasses every earthly possibility and helps us tap into the divine, giving us the much needed strength and grace to overcome challenges. Find your spirituality and stand firm in it. Remember, it is up to you to see that your healing is complete. Build up your mind with positive thoughts by reading encouraging books, such as The Purpose Driven Life by Rick Warren, pivotal in Kristen's own healing. Listening to positive messages and interacting with people who will help contribute positively to your growth. Focus on becoming a joyful person, which will eventually become your reality. There are so many rewards and benefits attached to reaching your desired goal of becoming a person who is led through life by joy. You become a much better, livelier, and healthier person, not just for yourself, but for those who are around you as well. You will better maximize your potential and reach as high as you dare to dream. There is hope for suffering and hardship to offer growth and understanding and choosing joy. From the experience of suffering, wisdom emerges. When things are going well, we rarely step back and face the brutal reality of what is taking place in our lives. A difficult situation, however, often focuses us out of our externally focused state, causing us to reflect inwardly on our experiences. It allows us to see ourselves deeply. With joy comes self-esteem and self-respect, which can help guide you if you're experiencing difficult situations. A life driven and guided by joy is genuinely fulfilling. When you've started living this life, things will fall into place and every day becomes one to look forward to. You become strengthened to rise above challenges and life becomes more meaningful. In all, you will be able to help others, be there for friends and family, and be of immense value to the world at large. As Dutch Catholic priest Henry Nguyen said, joy does not simply happen to us. We have to choose joy and keep choosing it every day. And I hope you found today's message inspiring. And if there is another topic like today's that you would like to hear me discuss, or there's a specific guest that you want me to bring on the podcast, please DM me either on Instagram at John R. Miles or on LinkedIn at John Miles. I also wanted to remind you that from March 4th through 6th, I will be undertaking the 4x4x48 four by four by challenge, which is four miles every four hours for 48 hours with 50 other special operators from the military. And the proceeds from this challenge go to support nonprofits who are helping veterans recover from PTSD and traumatic brain injuries. If you're interested in supporting this challenge and what we're trying to do for veterans, go check out the show notes and I will have links to where you can join this cause. Now go out there and live life passion struck. Thank you so much for joining us. The purpose of our show is to make passion go viral. And we do that by sharing with you the knowledge and skills that you need to unlock your hidden potential. If you want to hear more, please subscribe to the Passion Struck Podcast on Spotify, iTunes, Stitcher, or wherever you listen to your podcasts at. And if you absolutely love this episode, we'd appreciate a five-star rating on iTunes and you sharing it with three of your most growth-minded friends so they can post it as well to their social accounts and help us grow our Passion Struck community. If you'd like to learn more about the show and our mission, you can go to passionstruck.com where you can sign up for our, our newsletter, look at our tools, and also download the show notes for today's episode. Additionally, you can listen to us every Tuesday and Friday for even more inspiring content. And remember, make a choice, work hard, and step into your sharp edges. Thank you again for joining us. 